What's up you lovely people, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel for another video. Let's dive straight into it. Many of you brought to my attention the channel of this person here, Chateau Bunny, also um, known as Cocaine Cross. Seems to be a mouthpiece for Amber H, a very virulent one, I must say, for the nature of the post that I'm seeing here. So, you send me this screenshot of this post that it's not there anymore was posted the 17th of November 2022 and I have to say it's awful it's absolutely awful before we dive into it I want to say this type of people they're gaslighting you they're gaslighting us with lies and manipulation but let's remember also what they do with going after youtubers trying to mass flag people and I have to make this example of that umbrella guy that it's accused by those people all the time to arrest Amber H um, because he's making content about the trial, about JD, about Amber H uh, news. And I have to say, I see many, if not all of his videos, I never heard him talk the way that this person is talking about JD. So look at this, their Twitter. If the hap goes down, I have one final tweet. Johnny Depp, you are a hideous predator who should have end ended in the womb your own mother didn't love you and you've spent your life poisoning your mind and body with drugs and alcohol to numb the pain of being a painful mediocre white mutant who relied on his looks to get ahead oh my god i mean this last part actually you can just swap the name and say amber h you know using your looks to get ahead in life and now that you're over the peak as a 30 plus year old woman i would say I, I have to admit, eh, from a, just a, an observational point of view, that if somebody really has that type of issue here, it might, must, most likely it's actually A.H. Johnny Depp, as a 15-year-old man, is doing still pretty well. Um, anyway, so again, wishing Johnny Depp not to exist, right? And this is a, a technique, this is something that you see happening all the time, also from this infamous Stanford professor, which wishes upon Johnny Depp and his uh, friends, including Rihanna, to not be with us, but under six feet of ground. Again, just remind yourself that if the role were switched, if there was anybody talking like this, like with this venom venomous stance, towards age or towards any woman in general it would be probably like deleted from the face of the earth so that these people get away with this this is truly out of line really so uh now that you look at going you're aging into the deformed the pork skinned beer bellied leather beast you were meant to be oh my god i'm glad your liver is failing and your lungs are collapsing again wishing uh diseases on this man wishing for this man to get healed uh, your death will be celebrated around the world and your gravestone will be graffitied with the word um, wow I hope your final days on earth are painful and I look forward to finally whooping your ass in hell love always cocaine not so much love eh, there so going back to the account of this person I'm really surprised this person is still here really Twitter going down like Johnny Depp's face off the skull. There you see here this tweet right here, which is a clear manipulation. This is an hijacking of the letter of support that people are signing for Johnny Depp. And whether this is a Photoshop image or it's just actually a bunch of people that they're using this name, right, to sign the letter, you know, and then they make a screenshot. Um, obviously it seems to be quite clear that uh, some of them or one of them made three four accounts or together they they signed the letter in different places just to show that uh, they want to put Johnny Depp in the same ballpark of the names you see here and frankly again Amber Rich will be probably a better suited um, let's say companion for these people right more and more gaslighting, more and more hatred, more and more harassment towards Johnny Depp and towards his supporters. From my side, and I know for the majority of you, if not 99.9% .9 of you, 
this is not blind support this is support based on facts which is a different taste and it's of a different nature so yesterday i was watching this video pr expert reacts to amber heard open letter i'm gonna link it somewhere and, I, and at the end of the video she says something that really really resonate with what i was thinking um and let's listen to her and I i'll link it below so you can check the full video just get worse so in my opinion this open letter is at best a mediocre idea and at worst a very ill-advised money and ego grab now why do i give it even a passing grade like a c because it did manage to get significant coverage and i think that's what amber was looking to do now i I know I'm pretty critical of this and, and a lot of that is because we have Amber fatigue and honestly from a human behavior perspective she's doing to us what she did to Johnny many many times right before our eyes and all of those videos and audios she forced herself and her needs on him and now she's doing it to us thank you thank you thank you I have to say this is really like the bulb went on you know because then you start to to think like wow this person together with her entourage of little support she's literally abusing us pushing herself onto us constantly with the gaslighting like the same way that she did on johnny depp and with the lies and the manipulation